Hey, uh, how's it going? Okay, so um, yesterday I shot my first uh, all Fuji wedding um, and I just wanted to do a quick video to tell you how it went. The good, the bad and the awesome. Right, so yeah, uh, yesterday was the wedding of Jodie and Harry. Um, really, really nice couple. Uh, it was a lush day. Literally everything was just so lovely. It was so relaxed. It's a re really nice uh, venue in Cambridgeshire um, called South Farm. Um, blue skies, couple looked great. Um, just really relaxed. Uh, just all really, really good and throw in uh, Harry's friend Chris uh, coming along with his Dodge. Um, probably the most badass car I've ever seen at a wedding. Didn't know it was going to happen, but it was great. And uh, I came up with what I thought was a pretty cool photo. We had this really long road that goes into the venue, um, sort of sparse and kind of had that middle of nowhere America vibe um, and it just worked I think. So let's talk about cameras. So I shot pretty much 90-95% of the photos with this combo which is the X-H1 and the 23mm 1.4 um, and performance wise it didn't miss a beat. It did everything I wanted it to do. Um, I'm happy with the images that I'm getting out of the camera. The lens is lovely. Uh, the speed of this camera to autofocus and in burst mode, which I tend not to use very much, but you've got it, why not? Um, it's great, it's, yeah, it's just great. Uh, I'm getting used to how it works with the dials now and the, um, and the settings on these dials here. So, because I've never used an XT1 or an XT2 or, or any, or any, well, the only Fuji camera I've really used is the X Pro 2 and the XC2. Um, getting used to these dials was my main issues. But um, so the good, the camera just performs with the lens. It's great. It's it's a lovely camera to hold. Um, Autofocus is like lightning. In the church it was fine, outside obviously it's fine. Performance wise, absolutely no dramas. The bad, with the battery grip on I had a couple of dramas. Um, one of the things about this camera that I've taken getting used to is, is how sensitive the shutter button is. Uh, I've had a few times when I first started to use it where I'd focus, recompose and take a shot whilst I'm recomposing. But I'm getting used to that. The problem is, or seems to be, I think, the shutter button on here is just as delicate. Um, so I just basically found myself not really wanting the grip on there. Um, I had a couple of moments where I just fired off a load of burst shots because my hand touched it accidentally. So that is the bad. It's not really much of a bad, to be honest. I think I missed one photo because of it, um, because the camera was rattling off a bunch of shots at the floor. So I just took the battery grip off and carried on. And to be honest, I like the fact that these cameras are small. That's why I bought them. The battery grip will serve a purpose on another day, maybe when I'm shooting some sport. For now, this is this is how I want it to be. Um, and yeah, it was it's just all good. I'm 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 getting used to how it works. Um, and I, I, I can't think of anything yesterday where I felt like if I'd had my Canon 6D or my Sony A7, I'd have got anything different. Um, if anything, shooting Fuji is, is helping me shoot to a different style, which I'm finding more pleasing. It's, it's For some reason, it's making me shoot more filmic, um, which possibly sounds very pretentious but uh, it's my vlog and I can sell it on. So yeah, so that's the X-H1 with the 23mm 1.4. Um, 
the second camera body I had was the X-Pro2, which I'm filming this with, combined with the Dark Horse, I would call it, the 50mm f2. I'm loving this lens. Uh, I didn't think I would keep it because it came free with the camera. Um, but I'm loving its size. On the X-Pro2, you end up with this lovely little neat small package which I can hang around my neck and grab 75 mil shots quickly because they just work really well together, I feel. Um, I've got the 90 mil F2. I had it with me. I never felt like I needed to bring it out. Um, it wasn't a massive wedding, so I never felt like I needed long, you know, the, essentially 135 mil focal range that that would give me. I always felt like I was close to the action, combination of 35 mil and 75, effectively, um, gave me everything I needed. Um, and again, the X-Pro2 uh, just continues to get the job done for me. I, I still feel like I can shoot quicker with the X-Pro2. Even though the autofocus isn't quite as good, and I'm really starting to notice that, the, the X-H1's autofocus is definitely better. Um, and general speed of use is better. Um, I still feel like I can instinctively work with the X-Pro2 quicker than I can this. I'm having to think a little bit about what I'm doing with this. When, when a shot isn't quite right, when for some reason the metering's off, um, I'm quicker to react with the X-Pro2. But I'm getting used to this camera. There is a chance that I'm actually gonna start going back to shooting manual with this. With the X-Pro2, I'm finding that I can essentially shoot, letting the camera choose shutter speed, um, ISO. I choose aperture on the lens and just use exposure compensation dial on the shoulder, which I love. Uh, I've tried to do that with this, but it's not happening. So yesterday I went back to shooting manual um, and the dials are great, you know, just Basically, it was a nice day, so I put it in ISO 200 for most of the day and just changed the shutter speed dial. And that was it. It was simple. So yeah, so, um, and the awesome uh, was probably the Dodge actually, I think, which has nothing to do with these cameras, but uh, it was awesome. So here's some photos from yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that's me for now. Um, I've got two weddings next week. Uh, hopefully, things will continue to be seamless. Just shooting with really good, capable cameras that are getting me good photos. That's what it's all about. Cheers. <laughs>